I can share one story, one of the proudest moments that as an instructor, there was one particular student who approached me, even from module one up to the last module, he never passed an exam. And with that, I just told him, you know what? I know that you have done enough and I just want you to do your best. And I always say to my students that, I always say to them, and not just to this guy, but I always say to them that, patay kung patay. You just do your best. And with that, lo and behold, uh, his mathematics was 70, his, his, his HPG was 70, and his structural was 70. And that was one of the proudest moments because actually, to be honest, if I have to be honest, if I'm going to look at his scores, it was not pretty. And in fact, I know in my heart that this guy will take again the board exam. You, you are proud if you have students that who top the board exam. But I think the proudest moment of an instructor is that to make that below average student pass the board exam. And I think that is the greatest achievement of an instructor. Hi, my name is Engineer Chrysler. Students call me Engineer Duaso, and I'm basically handling fluid mechanics, hydraulics, and geotechnical engineering, and also economics. I always make sure my students understand simple question, and my philosophy is very simple. Always make it simple. How do I make it simple? I, I have to imagine that I am explaining to a five-year-old kid. I have to prepare lots of anecdotes. I have to prepare lots of analogies, making sure that I can get their attention span. I think every 30 to 45 minutes, I always share an inspirational story, perhaps a joke, or perhaps another analogy for, for the particular topic. Most challenges that they face is their lack of discipline and time management. And actually that contributes to their, um, to their challenges as they prepare for the board exam. And with that, as an instructor, I have the responsibility to orient them on how to go about it. In Jersey, we have um, a study center, a consultation class. We are going to meet them according to their needs. We are also using statistics. In every question, we study their behavior and their pattern on how they answer this particular question. And that's how we do it here in Jersey. Jersey is one of the review centers who promote green engineering, meaning to say we have less paper, more on the website. We are utilizing the website to make sure that the students have one common goal that they are just going to look at the website, not the uh, FB page or any social media account. We have this um, evaluation for each instructors. We are going to apply what needs to be what needs to be improved in our teaching style, especially on how we deliver the topic. How we continue to grow as a review center. We continue to grow as an instructor. I always motivate my students using real-life example of students who successfully passed the board exam. I always motivate my students, not just in passing the board exam, but after the board exam. What then are you going to do with your life? To our future students, to those who will be taking up the board exam, always remember, success is never final. Failure is never fatal. But Always remember that the courage always counts. All right? See you soon.